Good morning, everyone. It's great to see you here today. So, <clears throat> this is a picture I ended up making. And, granted, it is pretty simplistic right now. But, I think I want to have a full sheet of paper to make this at some point. This was just a practice sketch. So, what this is supposed to be is, is someone fighting something like a world serpent, something like Jormungandr or any of those other giant serpent type creatures with a bit more stylization, like I took a little bit of influence from some of the Aztec Mayan stuff over here with a head. And the swirls are a little bit more Greco-Roman than what you would expect from, say, a, say a Norse version of the, the world serpent. And you might be looking at this drawing and thinking that it's out of balance. Because normally, you would have, it on a sheet of paper like this, you would have the head of it, this creature somewhere over here. And then you would have the hero of uh, whatever version somewhere over here. And that would add a lot more of a balance to it. But, I decided to have it like this like this where the serpent took up most of the page and the hero was over here almost as a side piece and I had it like that like that I think the composition because I wanted it to seem overwhelming for the hero fighting this creature And I know that seems a little, a little odd. I mean, I could have just as easily had it over here. But if I did, the hero would have looked like he had an even chance. It would have looked like, okay, this is Thor, or Anasi, or, or Sun Wukong, or any other mythological figure like okay yeah I have a chance of beating this I wanted to make that different I wanted to have it where he looked like he had no way of winning and if he did manage to actually not die from getting hit in the head by this right here he was going to have to figure out where to land all over here because everywhere over here is his enemy in a constantly changing terrain. Now, that to me seems like a much more one-sided battle, which you need when it comes to making a piece with a monster and a hero. You need the battle to look very one-sided in any other event. Because if it isn't one-sided, then it's not a hero battle, it's a slaying. It's just, I don't know, a form of killing. That's not so great. So... That's why I ended up doing that. And bear in mind, this is a sketch. At some point, I'm going to make a much bigger version of this. Like, you can see how big this, uh, this sketchbook is. Not really something where you can put a whole lot of detail in. <laughs> oh, and also... Yeah, sorry about the whole setup here. It's... Uh, very early morning, like it's before 6 in the morning over here. The birds aren't even up. And I'm just sitting in, minding my wife's bedroom. 
and <laughs> just grabbed a couple things from around the house real quick as paperweights. I got a phone charger, a little roll of tape. <laughs> yeah, it's jerry-rigged like crazy, or jerry-rigged, however you phrase it, say it. Yeah. I'm still a little half-awake, but I'm one of those hyper half-awake people. So, yeah. And if any of you have have any thoughts or opinions on this, this I would love to hear it. Okay, well I think that's everything I've got for this. So, I will see you guys later. And hopefully I can find a sheet of paper and the time to make this, but much bigger. Alright, bye.